I'm Jamila Payne from Color Me Crafty. And today we are gonna be cutting these cute little acrylic earrings with my Glowforge Aura. I'm gonna walk you through uploading the design as well as cutting them out and then putting the earring backs on them. It's a super simple project. All you're going to need is Glowforge acrylic and earring backs. You can grab the free file up here or I'm also putting it below. Glowforge app, go ahead and create, a, click on create a new design and then upload a file. I am uploading the file that I created, let it process and let it add to your machine. They are already pre-sized. They're about a half inch wide, each of them. And I'm gonna use two different colors to cut these out. I'm gonna use this piece that I messed up pretty badly when I first got my Aura. I'm not sure if it'll read the QR code but I'm also using the teal. So purple and teal earrings. Right in here, I'm, I want to ignore the ones that I don't want to cut out first. So ignore these two and then change that to cut. And I'm going to drop my material right inside. And there's some lifting on this side. So I'm gonna use something to weight it down on this side. I have these weighted magnets that I got off of Amazon, and I'll make sure to link those. I'll let it finish scanning, and it's done. So I'm gonna move these so that they are on the material. These are getting cut, and these are getting cut. So these two are gonna be ignored, so I don't have to worry about those as much, but I am gonna move these out of the way so that I can get these two closer to the flat area. It will be interesting to see how well the Glowforge does on these smaller lines. So now it's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and click on print. It says vinyl will destroy my goal for it, we're not using vinyl, so I'm just going to click on, I'm not printing on vinyl. So because it did not grab that QR code, I'm gonna have to choose here. And I am using the Eco Thin Purple Acrylic. And I'm just gonna make sure those are lined up well. Go ahead and click on print. And press the start button and we are done with this set. I'm gonna remove them from the machine and I won't need that again, so I'm just gonna set it aside. And I'm just gonna punch them out to make sure they cut all the way through. And this one didn't do very well because the lines are too thin. If you want to make an earring that's bigger than a half inch, then that file should cut fine. So we're gonna drop our next color in. Back over here at the computer, I'm gonna set the ones we cut to ignore and the ones we ignored to cut. And to save space, I'm gonna move the ones we cut out already and move these to the edge to save material. And let it rescan because I moved it over I guess I could have moved it to this corner, but it's fine. So now I'm gonna move these. Now we might have the same issue with these as far as the lines being too small. You can just make those bigger earrings. So now we're gonna print. And this one will probably take a little bit longer as well because there's more lines in that first design. We're letting the glow for it to do her thing and it's calibrating and preparing and everything. So this one is gonna take 16 minutes and it's probably because all of those lines and actually what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go back and let's make this bigger. I want um let's go two and a half inches tall. Let's see if we get better results. And I can see that these ones are a little too far off. These ones are done. So I'm going to pull them out and these actually cut very well. We're going to go ahead and get these assembled and I'm going to show you how, how they look. I am just using some Loctite glue. We have all of our earrings here and then we have our backs here. 
And the first thing you need to do is remove the backing paper from at least one side of your design. And I noticed that there's some, uh, a little bit of acrylic stuck inside the holes. It cut through, but they got stuck. And I am going to do both of mine at one time. You can actually, if, even if you wanted to, you can move, remove both sides at one time. It's not gonna make much of a difference. That backing paper they, is there to help prevent some of the residue that you get from laser cutters. And same process, just a little dot right in the middle or wherever you want your earring back to set and then sit your earring backs right on top of the glue and allow them to dry. Now these should be dry already, they are. So now I can take this off. And if you're using a weeding tool to take these off, make sure you are being careful because you don't want to scratch your acrylic. I do notice a little bit of residue on this, so I'm just taking a baby wipe and wiping that down. And that's our tutorial. So that was a super fun and super easy craft to make. I haven't worn earrings in forever, but I use the Eco Thin Acrylic from Glowforge and they are super duper light. Initially, I wanted to make some dangly earrings, but I could not find the earring dangles. So I opted for stud backs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and drop me a comment below. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video from me. Thanks for watching.